cannot believe it's been 30 years since Cotton was released. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I actually played the original Cotton game back when I was, I think I was like 15, 16 years old. And um, that was a game that kind of got me into shoot 'em ups. I thought it was really cool. And now, years later, man, we finally got another sequel to the series with Cotton Fantasy uh, for the Switch and the PS4. Now, when I first started this game up, you know, looking at the graphics, I was like, oh, this game's not going to do much for me. You know, after playing Cotton Reboot, you know, I, I didn't think anything was going to get past that one. But, man, was I wrong. This sequel actually took me by surprise. I actually ended up sitting and beating the game the first time playing. I just wanted to go through the whole thing. And um, I'm not going to try to make this video too long. I just want to go over some of the basics in the game to kind of get you guys pumped up for it. So the first thing you'll notice immediately is the character select roster. You could choose up to six characters uh, your first time playing the game. And um, the other kind of games didn't have that, at least not from what I remember. Um, but I thought this was really cool. It gives this, it makes the game more diverse. You have different ways to play the game or approach your enemies pretty much. And as you can see here, uh, you have your shot and your special move. And also auto, which I would use so you don't have to tap down the shot button too much. So I want to try to explain the gem system here. Uh, the gems have different abilities for Cotton. The yellow ones actually level her up. So the more gems you get, um, the more her, the stronger her attacks will be. Uh, definitely a plus for your character. And the uh, other gems, they change your shot to different elements pretty much. And also, they each have a charge attack, which is very helpful. Also, what you just saw there, that is your special attack, which will is kind of like pretty much like your bomb attack. You know, if you want to kind of clear the screen pretty much. But um, if you're playing well and getting a lot of combos in this game, you're going to level up and you're going to get a lot of different gems you can use for charge attacks. It's really a lot of fun and it really keeps the game fresh. I had so much fun playing just the first level. I also really like in this game that after you beat the first level, you're actually able to choose the level you want to go to. So that keeps things fresh. You know, I kind of hate the linear path of just going through certain levels. This game changes it up, which I think is really great. Each of the levels looks absolutely stunning. I was actually surprised with all the backgrounds and the stuff that's going on. Uh, it's really very impressive and every level in this game I think will bring some kind of sense of joy to everyone. Like you'll like you pretty much love all the levels in this game. You know like some shoot 'em up levels like they feel like kind of repetitive and lame but this game just keeps the action fresh and um, you just never know what's going to come out of the background and come and attack you. It's really great. Now going to the controls the controls feel pretty smooth. I didn't have any trouble with response time or anything, but you gotta remember this. Uh, when you're playing this game, you wanna clear the screen at all times because sometimes you won't be able to kinda tell if, a, if an item is like a uh, object you collect or a bullet coming after you, so I uh, definitely wanna get used to that. I struggled a bit after the third level. I, I felt like I was just, I, was, I started getting killed a lot. I was kinda getting reckless, but, but I was just having a good time. Now the game does have two bonus levels, and by seeing them here, they're going to remind you of the Sega Genesis game, Panorama Cotton, and also the Dreamcast game, Rainbow Cotton. These levels bring even more fun and charm to an already really cool game. I was really impressed. I also wanted to touch on something that's very familiar to Cotton fans in these type of games. And if you're new to this shooter, um, I just wanted to like just let you guys know this. But a lot of shoot 'em up fans don't really care about this type of stuff. But uh, Cotton games reward you with story cutscenes. Yes, there is a story to this game. Now I'm not going to get into the story as it's kind of silly. But um, I, I, it's, it's, it's there for you guys to find out yourself if you like this type of humor. I thought it was pretty funny and definitely very similar to the previous Cotton games before it. The music in this game is very top notch. I was very impressed with it. Each level has an uplifting track that really helps the flow of the game. I mean, some of you guys may not understand. Like, if a game has good music, even if it's a bad game, I mean, man, the music will just like really like guide you through it.
Hopefully I picked some good tunes for you guys on that part, but uh, it's not going to be anything you bump in your car, but while you're playing this game, it works. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Cotton Fantasy. I think it's a really good game. I'm happy this came out. I'm really impressed with it. You know, my favorite Cotton game in the series has always been Cotton Part 2, but I think um, it has met its match, and that is Cotton Fantasy. The game will be available this year on May 20th on the PSN and the Switch Store. It'll also be available as a physical on Amazon on that day. And if you want to go a little bit further, there is a collector's edition that is being sold by Strictly Limited that's available. If you want to go all out, uh, yeah, this is the way to do it. Both of these collector's editions are still available for the Switch and PS4. Just want to put that out there. Available for PS4 and Switch. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, I think this is a great game to add to your collection if you like shoot 'em up games. But uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching. I will leave links in the description on where you can purchase this game from. And that's all I got for you. Radical Reggie, and I will see you all in the next video.